Today we are talking about the Kimpex foot rests for the 2016 Yamaha Grizzly. They are made out of a tube steel which has been coated in the same paint or bed liner as the factory racks. Exact same finish. You have two mountain bolts up top with clips that are fixed to the rack and it comes down to your footboard bracket which has adjustability forward and aft and is fixed by one screw into the footboard. For the foot peg it's held on by four bolts and you also have a fifth for the adjustability of the tightness of the foot peg itself. And then you have one bolt here to adjust the angle of the foot peg itself. Comes down pretty easy with more time and it'll become uh, more loose. You have one little metal bra metal clip or bracket that holds the foot in the upward position. And then you also have your spline teeth here so that when you tighten the foot peg down it stays in that position all the time. Full metal construction very sturdy. Alright pros and cons. Well pros meh it's aesthetically pleasing it matches the quad very well you can see uh, it doesn't come in contact with the plastic anywhere you got a good gap at two fingers there must be at least a three quarters of an inch to uh, almost one inch so it's not going to touch the plastic so you won't damage your plastics that's a pro a con well this one little screw down here that's all that holds this to the footboard and they didn't even put a spacer underneath so from the base of this bracket to the footboard, it's touching the plastic right here. So it's on that. So if it was me, I would have put a spacer in here in order to remove some of the, uh, the load. Because all that load is on this plastic here. So that screw might break eventually. Another con is getting on and off the quad. I'll quickly put this on top of the bar here. Hopefully you can see it. When I, gra when I get onto the quad, your leg comes straight up and almost touches this. And when you swing over to the other side, your foot wants to come down, but the pedal's in the way. So that's also a potential problem. So if you if you flip this quad with this on, there is a chance that this will keep you on the quad, considering the way it's been routed. So that's another thing you have to take into account, is getting on and off the quad is more difficult, and there is a chance of it keeping you on the quad if it ever flips over. But besides that, it's a great accessory, especially if you want to uh, just hang out on the back after a long ride, eat your lunch. So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Post them in the comments below. And if you like the content, please subscribe.